All right, Dolphin fans, week six. Now, look, if you know who I am and my YouTube history, you know I am the Florida Panthers guy, the hockey team. Dolphins play the Panthers today. Florida Panthers are winless, and so are the Carolina Panthers. Now, I want to be abundantly clear. Uh, I have no interest in the Panthers winning today. You can win tomorrow, not today. All right, get that out of the way. So, I just caught a little bit on TV. Connor Williams is out with that groin again. So that most likely leaves Eichenberg at the center position. Maybe, hopefully, another week of rest will get him... We'll get him settled. I know groins are a funny thing. I had a torn groin this summer, so I get it. Um, uh, this is per Kyle and people on the stream. I think Jeff Wilson is not in, but Ahmed is. Ingold is active. Don't know on Claypool yet. Doesn't matter. We got plenty of firepower. We have plenty of depth. If one guy goes, at least at the skill positions. Really, at all of the skill positions, we're good to go. Uh, offensive line. I like to see Williams in the game, but so far Eichenberg has not really, I mean, he hasn't hurt us, right? Buffalo wasn't fantastic, but it is what it is. Um, I got a feeling, I don't like the feel. I got a feeling this is going to be one of those games where it's going to look like we're going to lose, and then like, like a, I hate to say this, because boy, do I not want to depend on this, but like a 52-yard Jason Sanders field goal as time expires and we pull out a miraculous uh, season-saving win. I just, I just, I just don't got a good feeling about this. We're gonna win the game, but I think there's the possibility that we might look like we're gonna lose this game for a little bit. Look, I and, and, and I don't trust. You never trust an unbeaten team. Zero and one, zero and two, zero and three. When you start to get past that, at some point that team is gonna win the game, right? Remember what was it, the 2007. Or the 2008, well, the 2007-2008 Miami Dolphins, I believe that was the team that was 1-15, and one right before the wild card season, um, wild card, wild cat season. We won, we, we, we managed to beat Baltimore, and that, and, and that we won a game, right? I don't want to be, I don't want to be Baltimore, not today, not today, no, and that, so, I hope I'm wrong. Hope I'm wrong. I, I, I'd rather have a nice, relaxing afternoon here. Dolphins get a big win. But something just smells funny to me about this one. La you know, when you have two significantly inferior opponents in a row at home, sometimes, sometimes it cannot go well. That said, I hope I come back at halftime and we're blowing them out and I'm just blowing smoke out my ass. All right, so it's 21-14 at halftime. Um, I do not think I'm going to be right about the part where we need a miracle finish at the end, but I was right to be worried and a little bit concerned about this game. But I think we have this one under control now. This defense is not good. Okay, I don't want to hear about they need time to learn the system and all of that crap. It's week six. Vangio was brought in to fix things. And the realistic uh, part is that the only time this defense really looks good is when we're blitzing, which is what Vangio was brought in to fix and have us not have to rely on the blitzing. And then, like on the last drive, where Carolina get, missed a field goal, luckily, first down we blitz, incomplete. Second down we blitz, incomplete. So it's third and ten. And all of a sudden we back up and start playing zone. And they moved down the field, and they probably would have got another touchdown if they had more time. And we just get lucky that the kid who had hit 24 straight field goals under 40 yards or whatever the statistic was, he misses, shanks it wide. 21-14, we get the ball first, start second half. Offense looks just fine after a, a really weird start to the game. The play calling, or I guess the play, you know, we usually had the first couple drives scripted, I guess. Um... It was, it was bad. It was bad. And then Carolina makes a 14 nothing. And then we decide, oh, 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 the game, the game already started. Okay. And then the offense has looked just fine since then. Mostert is a beast out there. Ahmed's not really doing a whole lot. I'd love to see Chris Brooks get some carries. Uh, 
I mean, that's a minor complaint, but I'd love to see Chris Brooks, Chris Brooks get some carries. Last thing, I'm going to make another video about this maybe later today or tomorrow. This uh, taunting with the Tyreek celebrations, this shit needs to stop, okay? With all of the bullshit that's going on in the world right now, we need to throw a flag on a guy because he takes the camera and does a backflip. You're not allowed to have a prop or whatever the rule is. Man, the NFL needs to make some freaking attitude adjustments, in my opinion. So, all right, Dolphins, finish this, okay? It, the defense is still sketchy at best. So we're going to need more points. Let's finish this game off. All right, so 42-21. I would feel really good about this victory if Chris Brooks had not gotten injured there right at the end. I was screaming for the kid for the second half, get this kid some carries. I like him. I know he's not as fast as Echan, but, you know, don't wear out Mostert. And they put him in, and he's looking great. And then the injury did not look um didn't look good when he, he, they carted him off. That's never a good sign. So hopefully he's okay. Maybe he spends the four weeks on the IR. Jeff Wilson Jr., somebody, I mean, we're, we won the game. But every week I keep saying, can we win the game and stay healthy? And, and that's we've lost both rookie running backs two weeks in a row now, so that's a little bit frustrating. Um, other than that, the defense, the defense did... Great after the first quarter was over. Fangio mixed mixed in some blitzes at the right time. We did good. Offense did his thing. Tyreek cramping up a little bit. Waddle looked like he got a little bit dinged, but he came back. Um, Moster was an absolute beast. Absolute beast today. So that was good to see. And that's, you know, it's look, it was the Giants, the Panthers. It would have been an absolute abject disaster had we lost either one of these two teams. But you can't take away from the offensive line without Williams and without Armstead um, just plowing guys. I mean, we get 10 yards of carry, and and it's like almost by accident that the guy even gets tackled after 10 yards. So as long as our guys can stay healthy, you know, I chanted last week, okay, so you put Ahmed back in. He looked decent, right? Then you put Chris Brooks in. He's dinged. So now Jeff Wilson Jr., we need we need you. I think he was almost ready this week. So I think now we're, we're going to need him because we're running out of guys. Right? We're just unfortunate. Other than that, um, defense was able to get a lot of pressure. One sack was taken away by a holding penalty, but no turnovers. We didn't get any turnovers, but it's okay. It's all right. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. On to Philadelphia. Right now we get to some real important stuff here. We've got uh, we've got Philadelphia, then I think we're home for the Patriots, and then we've got that Chiefs game, and then we've got the bye. It's unfortunate to not have either. I mean, I know Brooks wasn't getting a lot of carries, so that's fine. But facing both the Chiefs and the Eagles um, without a John, it's unfortunate. That's why I was calling for Brooks because you want to keep most of it as fresh as possible. So. We look, we look good. We look good. We're five and one. We're in first place. There's really nothing to complain about. Um, I don't know what that was in the first quarter. I think they just kind of were sleepwalking. You know, maybe they figured they could. You know, maybe they thought Carolina was just going to come in here and lay down. Carolina does not look like an zero and six team. They look more like a three and three type of team. They're not bad. This kid Bryce Young, um, he looks pretty good for a rookie. You know what I mean? He's not making stupid, you know, stupid mistakes. The receivers are not really helping him. There was there was more than a few drops out there. So I think he's going to be okay. All right, short and sweet. Uh, tomorrow, Trey and I will be back somewhere around noon. So we'll be looking forward to that. I know I didn't make a lot of videos this week. Matthias was here at the start of hockey season. So it was a little bit uh, busy. So I'll have some extra content coming out here soon. Other than that, just what we needed with the exception of the injuries. These two weeks, it would have been perfect Without losing Echan and Brooks. Next guy up attitude remains. Dolphins 5-1. I'll see you again tomorrow.